Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you some of the different jigs and lures that I use to help you catch more perch, crappie, walleye, northern, pretty much anything that swims. So stay tuned. Alright guys, these are some of my lures. Um, as you can see, a lot of them are perch colored. And that's because a lot of the lakes around here, um, the fish's main forage is perch, small perch. And I'm just going to start out with this guy. Um, it's called a VMC Ratso. Um, it's really small. This guy's 164th ounce. And the wax on it comes pre-rigged, which is nice that you don't have to be out on the ice with your cold hands and trying to put on a little wax worm. And one thing about these is when you're rigging them up, you want to rig them so that they're vertical with your line. Some guys will rig them up like this and it the reason you want to rig it up like this is because it gives that little tail a lot more action when you're jigging it and what I do with these is I put a little wax worm just on the end of this hook right here um, just to give it a little more smell and this next one is just a little tungsten heavy metal jig and I just um, put a minnow head on it or wax worms and I've had a lot a lot of luck with this on dead sticks and what I do is I just hook my minnow and I hook it right behind the fin and I just let the minnow flutter around with this hook on it and that's been working well for dead sticks this next one is a buckshot rattle spoon and I just tip these guys with minnow heads or um, wax worms and these are good if you have stained water because it helps the fish find the your jig easier because it, it puts off a lot of noise and vibration because it has those little rattles in it and again this one's perch colored because the main forage is perch and this one right here this is my personal favorite it's called a VMC tingler spoon and it's, um, it's perch colored again, and it's just got a brown's back to it. And what they say is it flutters down, and it's supposed to look like a dying minnow. And the fish just love it. And I've had a lot of luck catching perch, uh, walleye, northern, um, just about everything with this. And that's called a VMC Tingler Spoon. Um, this other one. This is also made by VMC. It's called the Flash Champ. It's the same color as this Tingler Spoon right here. And uh, I've had a lot of luck with this guy too, with Catch and Perch. And it's basically just a different shape and it flutters down a little bit different from the other spoons. And this is the same one, it's just UV colored. So if you're fishing in dark water, it helps the fish find it better. And also in stained water, it's very good too. Um, this is VMC Tumbler Spoon. Um, it just has a different way of falling once again. And this one's UV colored so that the fish find it better. And it has this little um, sp spoon that flutters on it too. And I just, all these spoons I tip with either minnows or um, wax worms and this is VMC's rattle spoon it's pretty much just like this buckshot right here except it's has a little bit better graphics on it it has that nice little eyeball that the fish they think it's more of a fish than just some fake little jig down there um, it puts off a lot of rattle when it's down there and it just helps the fish find it better this next one, I haven't been able to use it very much, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. And it's just a Rapala jig and wrap. And it's better for if you have um, a straight line rod, because otherwise it'll sit in the water and spin around. But I haven't been able to catch any fish with this thing, so um, hopefully I can get out and show you guys some of me catching fish with that and this is another one of my favorites it's called a gut 
custom jigs and spins slender spoon and basically it's just silver and it has that little green strip and it flutters when it flutters it goes down away from your hole so it doesn't just go straight down your hole and fish see it and just again just think it's something fake so it just flutters to the side and it just gives off a lot of shine so it's better for um, stained water and dark conditions under the ice and then this next one it's called um, Rapala's ultralight jig and wrap and I haven't been able to use him very much and he just puts off a lot of uh, rattle and whatnot and it's more for when fish are being really aggressive and they're not afraid to come up and hit something big but the walleye really like this one supposedly but um all these lures I haven't been able to get out to film any um, videos on the ice but I'm hoping to get out pretty soon and show you guys that all these lures work very good hey guys thanks once again for watching my video um, I'm hoping to get out pretty soon to show you guys just how I do everything how I set up my lures uh, my rods, my reels, um, how I use my hummingbird, just everything to help you guys catch more fish. And please comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.